So here we're introducing the newest member of the 4MS family, the stereo triggered sampler. So we have two channels of hi-fi sampling playback, but we also have a record section here. So it stands apart because it can simultaneously do both. And it also is special because you're not going to hear the signal loss you will on most hardware samplers. Um, at least in Eurorack, you're going to have pretty lossless hi-fi playback. So as you can see, we can manually trigger onboard the module or externally trigger from the beat step. For trigger channel one here, quick re-triggers, it responds nicely. And then for channel two, we're triggering and pitch tracking with the verbose keyboard. We also have stored voltages in here, so we could maybe re-pitch the sample on re-trigger. So, as you can see, there's lots of ways uh, you can go about triggering this guy. We have artist sample packs on here. Right now we have Richard Devine loops and one hits loaded, but we have other artists on the SD card that will ship with the module. Uh, we have Wobbly from Negative Land, Rob Lowe, Richard Devine, like I said, and others. So here we get to uh, we get to do a little bit of a sampling of of the uh, loops and hits that he submitted for us. So we're just triggering here with the verbo still. It's a nice, nice bassy tone. So loops here on the left, one hits with the verbo, so loops the beat step. We can lengthen or shorten the sample. So I can make a stab out of this loop if I like, or we can play the whole thing. We'll get more into what exactly each function is doing and the sub-functions in additional uh, subsequent videos. So all we're listening to here is a little bit of spring reverb on the one hit track, and then dry on the left loop. So it's just the STS, the keyboard's triggering, the reverb, and that's it. Some nice one hit here. Some more Richard Divine. This one's got some nice dynamics. We can change the length if we need to. And then re triggering the beat with the beat step. So as you can see, there's lots of different ways we could go about playing this. This is just straightforward triggering with the sampler manually. And triggering with the sample externally. Hope you guys enjoyed. We'll have more detailed videos coming out soon. And the release is uh, coming up on us really quickly.